Hi guys, not a typical Drupal tutorial for you today. We wanted to help you to find a job in real Drupal world. So, if you are interested, in this video we will discuss the following points. First point, small investigation if Drupal world is still thirsty for its developers. Second point, what a Drupal developer should know to be in trend. Third point, how to sell yourself or simply CV. Fourth, exact sites for applications. And fifth, how to prepare for an interview and test tasks. So your first steps. Uh, let's begin. First point, investigate if Drupal world is still thirsty for its developers. That means we begin with some analytics. Let's open usage statistic of Drupal core on Drupal org. Uh, we see that number of total uh, usages is pretty much the same for the last five years. So right now it's not hyping, just stays on the same level, but it is still a rather impressive value especially take into account that this statistic doesn't include all sites. It includes only the sites with update status module enabled. So we are guessing that in reality the number is maybe three times bigger. So we can talk about approximately three million projects and someone needs to support, update, extend them, add new features. So there's still a lot of work around Drupal. Conclusion is, Drupal developers are still wanted. Another point of this statistic is Drupal 7 parameter that is decreasing, but at the same time the measure of Drupal 8 projects is increasing, which means that a lot of Drupal 7 sites already migrated to Drupal 8, and this trend is still progressing. So, Drupal developer needs to know how to migrate certain Drupal project to Drupal 8. It's a definite must-have. By the way, searching our channel, you can find useful tutorials related to Drupal 8 migration. Um, we have smoothly reached the next point, which is what a Drupal developer should know to be in trend. Let's separate Drupal backend developers and Drupal frontend developers' roles to more specific. Backend developers should know PHP, OOP, MySQL, Drupal API, Twig, migration, which we already discussed, um, Docker, because um, almost all Drupal agencies are already using Docker in this uh, in their workflow, uh, Linux system, basic server configurations. Front-end developers field is CSS, SCSS, less SAS, mobile first responsive, JS, jQuery, plugins, Drupal behaviors, Gulp, Twig, Ajax, admin interface, basic structure of modules. Also, a big bonus is to know React and have experience with React. All Drupal world is talking about decoupled projects. Um, great to have an extensive understanding of how to build Drupal projects with React and Front, if we are talking about decoupled projects. For additional information about React trends and other Drupal trends, um, and even Drupal future, we recommend reading this really detailed article from Media Current. Uh, this link will be in the description of the video, of course. Um, next point is how to sell yourself or simply CV. It's the main document that represents you applying for a job. It's the first thing everyone wants to have a look at contacting with you. So it has to be really informative, simple yet unique. Probably the main thing about it is your Drupal org profile, so the link has to be included, of course. If your Drupal org profile includes a list of commits, let's say it's 50% of success. And if, if you have plenty of them, there may not even be a test task, because the customer is already acquainted with your proficient technical power and your experience and will be happy to co collaborate with you. Um, 
in addition the customer will see your passion and that's uh, and that uh, that you are trying to con uh, to contribute to drupal it will show your solid understanding of api that is amazing so we strongly recommend spend some free time for fixing issues on drupal.org for absolutely any project to add some commits to your profile um, it will be good for you, good for Drupal community, good for customers, so it only makes this world better. While we are talking about contributions, we'll remind that seriously, any contribution will be appreciated. Maybe you have a GitHub account with some commits to open source projects, or perhaps you wrote any technical blog posts, or maybe you have a YouTube channel with uh, Drupal related tutorials, or anything that shows the customer that you are really passionate and that you keep up latest updates. Um, another important thing about CV is getting good feedback from your colleagues. The more the merrier. These are uh, the main two points of CV which you should pay attention to. Its structure and other stuff you can easily find on the internet so let's not waste time for that. Next point is exact sites for applications. So, you analyzed Drupal statistic summary, you did some impact to community, you created your CV. You are ready to apply for a job. In general, uh, there are plenty of sites. And it really doesn't matter, it doesn't matter uh, which one you'd rather use. In this video, we'll check two sites, which we already had experience with. First is jobs.drupal.org. Um, there can be um, several issues that will cause a problem for you to get a response. Perhaps the main is that a lot of developers see these uh, vacancies and your request can be just lost in tons of mails. Also, approximately 80% of Drupal agencies on Drupal.org are looking for United States citizens only. They are just not comfortable working with remote team members. Um, also, sometimes you can only get a response in a week or two, so it takes time. Don't be upset and don't think that you are needless. That's a totally normal, long-lasting process. Uh, second side is LinkedIn. And to our point of view and experience, this is way better because um, because much more opportunities. Approximately 50 new vacancies per day. Um, responses quicker. You can contact directly the author of the offer. Um, you can increase your connections and create useful profile. Um, collect helpful feedback from your colleagues. It's a um, way wider community. Um, one more thing. Before applying for a job to a certain company, you should carefully get acquainted with each requirement from job descriptions. No sense to disturb if, um, for example, they are looking for European employees and you are from US or vice versa. Also, we recommend uh, to skip offers from companies that try to hire full-stack developers. Uh, who will cover all issues like front-end, back-end, DevOps, etc. Um, because very often it is for a small or even tiny project. Or it's a support of an old project uh, that's most likely not interesting for you. And the last but not the least point, how to prepare for an interview and test task. So to say your first steps. Okay, we imagine you have your response, you have a certain date for your interview, what next? Uh, you have to be well prepared to all tricky questions, like think about the answer to the question like where you see yourself in five years, or if your last company will ask you back, will you return? and so on. So think about that. Think about the desired rate for you. Think about what questions you want to ask. Um, one small tip. If you don't know the answer to some technical questions, don't panic. Don't make big pauses. 
just answer that a developer or programmer shouldn't know everything. He just should know where to find a solution. Uh, of course, be thankful for the time the interviewer spent. Even if you don't get a positive answer, you never know. Maybe in future you'll meet once more. Um, about test task. Test tasks for back-end developer are often um, dependencies injection, service system in Drupal 8, uh, decoupled code. So try to repeat all those functionalities in Drupal 8 to be prepared. Um, okay, uh, guess that's all for today. We hope this uh, information will help you find your desired job. So good luck and let us know if such videos are useful for you and stay async. Bye-bye.